We have heard many great composers in the world. We also learned it in school. I will tell you what we did not learn in school. All the great composers are after the 16th century. But there was not only the earliest but the earliest great African composer. A man 1000 years before them. His name is Saint Yared. Saint Yared was born on April 5, 505 AD in Ethiopia Aksum city is in a place called Medbai Tabor. His father's name is Abiyad or Isaac and his mother's name is Christina or Taklia. His father died when he was seven years old, so his mother entrusted him to his uncle Gideon, who was a brave man from Aksum, to raise and teach him. For the next seven years, he cannot understand the education. He was punished by the teacher for not understanding the lesson and for other misdeeds. Saint Yared was also a child, so he was shocked by the beating and left the city and disappeared. And he went to a place called Mykira. He was thirsty on the way, so he drank water from a spring there and lay down under a sycamore tree. As he looked up, he saw a worm climbing up from the tree. The worm crawls up the trunk to the fruit to eat the fruit from the tree. Then he sees him fall. But the worm tried to get up from where it fell and go to the fruit. Yet again he fell. After repeatedly falling, he got up, succeeded in his seventh attempt, and ate the fruit. At that time Saint Yared thought, he said, if this worm works so hard to reach the tree, then if I work hard to learn a lesson, God will help me, he returned to his teacher and said, Father, forgive me and teach me like before. The teacher accepted and started teaching him. He used to go regularly to the Aksum Zion church and beg and said my Lord's mother, who expresses wisdom and knowledge, please enlighten my mind. God also revealed to him the secret of the Bible, the books of the scholars, and other scriptures accepted by the church. After studying hard, he completed his studies quickly. When Master Gideon died, he took over his position and continued to teach. This happened during the reign of Emperor Gevra Meskel. Since there was a lot of singing in his time, he begged God for a religious song of God. In those days, there was no song to praise God with a loud voice. His prayers were repeated and one day while he was praying three birds came to him. He was inspired by the birds and came up with the tunes. He sang the songs loudly in the square of Aksum. He went to the Zion church in Aksum city and stood in the mercy seat and raised his voice. <laughs> Hallelujah to the Father, Hallelujah to the Son, Hallelujah to the Holy Spirit, the Lord of the heavens of Zion. This means that thanks be to the Father who was before the creation of the world and who has passed through the world and lives forever. Praise be to the Son. Thanks are to the Holy Spirit. He created the heavens before Zion. It means that he showed Moses how to do the book of Torah again. Saint Yared continued to praise God while harmonizing his music. After hearing and understanding the taste of the music, Emperor Gevra Meskel realized that God had given the church a resource and a blessing to the people, and he asked the scholars and priests to accept and serve the church, but the priests and the scholars replied, what sign should we see and accept? 
After this, the king declared that he should declare to us the Lord our God, from the first day of December to the seventh day of December. December 1st was on a Monday, so from Monday to Sunday, they went around the Zion Mary Church of Aksum every day, and pray. On the seventh day, Sunday, when they had finished their vows, the Lord appeared on the dome of Zion Maryam Church in Aksum as if he had been crucified on Friday. After that, Saint Yared said, the cross has been lowered, and the angels have been broken. Angels, archangels, pray for us and save us. The interpretation is, angels and archangels praise the Lord who was prophesied by the prophets and nailed to the cross. According to this testimony, it is believed that the song was given by God and since that day, the song of Saint Jared became the standard instrument of the Ethiopian Orthodox Tuahedo Church. Songs were accepted in the church only after seven days of prayer. This tradition is still followed by night prayers till this day for seven consecutive days starting from December 1st. After the arrival of Saint Yared's hymns, the prayer systems in Ethiopia, as well as the human lifestyle and architecture, changed. Saint Jared began to travel and teach songs. His first students were Abra, Eskandra, Ezra, and Menkra. He started all the systems that currently exist in the Ethiopian Orthodox Tuahedo Church, which are how to stand for prayer, how to sing, how to use instruments, and many things he made all the systems and enlightened a new mallet for Ethiopia. The songs are three. And they are called Gs, Ezel, and Erare, he enriches them by giving musical notes, Guizi, it's a dry tune with nothing, Easel, it is a song that is sung at big festivals, which is an extra melody in the throat. It's a sad tune and the notes are different. Saint 
Saint Yared used to sing his greetings. After many teachings, he came to Tana Kirkos Monastery and reached his first composition. This Tana Kirkos Monastery is the monastery where the Tablet of Moses rested when it entered Ethiopia. It is said that it is his first composition because he wrote it without markings. Stones which he made ink to write books are still found in this monastery. In total, he writes five books and they are Dgwa, Sumdgwa, Emiraf, Zmeri, and Muazidik Dgwa. Dgwa means collection and the reason why it got its name is that it quotes from the Bible and apocryphal books because it talks about the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ, Our Lady Virgin Mary, angels, prophets and apostles, and righteous martyrs. Sumdgwa, the entire book mentions God, Mary, saints, angels, church and teaches the importance of fasting, prayer, and almsgiving, emiraf, it was written in Telemt. The content of the chapter book is divided into two parts, the regular chapter, and the fasting chapter. The regular season is used during the weeks and holidays of the year without waiting for the season. The chapter on fasting is sung during 40 days of fasting and some days of prayer, zmer, means chant. He wrote the chants at a place called ABA in South Gondarzur. Chant service is a service book that follows the purpose of the liturgy, which is chanted, sung, and chanted during the liturgy, muaziti. It is derived from the G's word and its meaning is, talk, the grammar of soul. It is for the soul of the dead that it comes in the time of justice. The five essays of Saint Yared are taught in different parts of Ethiopia. The education is not the way most of the world knows, but it is a unique teaching method that is given in Ethiopia. These are very large books in terms of their secrets and contents, and he prepared a melody for all of them to read. The signs are called Yizit, Dire, Kainat, Kurt, Rut, Daifat, Chiret, Hide, Serez, and Rikirik. Saint Yared is a person who can be described in four ways. First, he studied and knew all the books written before him. Second, he is an interpreter. He interprets the mysteries of the Old and New Testaments. Third, he is a writer. Saint Yared's essays have spiritual content. It can be understood that St. Yared had a great literary talent from the choice of words, sentence structure, secret, and metaphorical expression shown in his essays. Besides spiritual books and articles, he is a person who wrote philosophical ideas. Fourth, he is a songwriter. He gave the notes to the tunes that he created. Once upon a time, he was so engrossed in the song when he sang the song to the king. He forgot everything outside of the song. The king was also engrossed by the song of Saint Jared and stabbed him in the leg with the spear in his hand. Emperor Gevra Meskel finished listening to the song without realizing that he stabbed him and Saint Yared didn't know that he was pierced as well. When the song ended, the king saw that he had stabbed him. He was shocked and said, I stabbed you not knowingly but by engrossment, so don't be angry with me. What shall I do for you? And he said if you promise me first then I will tell you. The king promised him. Then Saint Yared said let me go to a monastery. Because he made a promise, he allowed him to go to a monastery in sorrow. He teaches on Mount Dashan and continued his meditation while teaching the lesson. On May 11, 568, he entered to the cave and did not return. He disappeared. The cave is still in the Mount Dashan, Ethiopia.